So in the comment section, there was quite a few uh, questions about auto routers and whether KiCad, 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 whatever you want to call it, has an auto router, and it sort of does. So there, KiCad allows you to have plugins, and somebody has a program called FreeRoute, um, and um, it is available as a plugin. So let me show you the plugin. We're going to do this board here, okay? So let me let me close this one first. We're going to go here to Plugin and Content Manager, okay? And then we're going to type in free here, free routing. That's it. So free routing. Uh, we will do an install, and we will apply apply that. There we go. Uh, it seems to have put it in. Okay. So now when we go back to our project, um, let's see here. There we go. So up here, can you see up at the top here? Uh, there's this one here. I've got a couple plugins up here, but there's this one here called free routing. Okay. So we're going to take my board. And we are going to some way down here at the lower right. So I'm going to select tracks and vias. And I am going to grab all of those and delete. So now we've removed all of the routing of the board. Okay. So um, that is what we have now. Uh, of course, this is a really good placement. The placement's been modified because of the routing. So I'm giving it a really good chance to auto route because everything's in a nice position, okay? So there we go. Now we hit the auto route um, and it says I need a new version of Java. So it's gotta go do that. All right, so it says auto writer is about to start. Okay, so we can say go. And uh, you can see it's starting to do its thing. All right, there we go. We're back. Um, it did take several minutes. What about four minutes? Something like that. Uh, so let's uh, do a pour again and let's see how it did. Let's see how it did. Um, so right away, you can see that each one of these Nixies has a, has a completely different routing. So it couldn't do the same thing twice, which is which is sort of interesting. Um, it uh, likes 45 degree angles. That's one of the things I don't like about this auto router is it kind of starts out doing everything at 45 degrees and then it goes back and straightens things up. And yeah, I, I don't really quite like that, but let's take a look at what it did here. I, I see one problem right away and that is that we have floating grounds. You can see, um, you can see this little line right here that tells you that these two grounds are not connected. All right. So this, this Island right here is floating. It's not connected to anything. And then here's another wire says this, this ground here is floating. It's not connected to anything. And this aren't connected to anything. You can see this, this ground pad right here is not connected to anything. So, and there's a bunch of other things here that weren't connected. Yeah, here's an isolated ground. This ground sort of made it. And this is an isolated ground. Yeah, so it's some totally messed up there. So it doesn't do well with that. Um, let's see how it did on other things. Sometimes it puts in a right angle and sometimes it puts in a, a, a 45 degree. I don't know why it just didn't put... 45 degrees everywhere. If that's the setting, that's kind of weird. Um, let's see any other weird things going on here. 
Uh, yeah, it's just it's just it's just a messy layout. Um, so, so are auto all are all auto routers garbage? No, there are better ones than others, and you pay a lot of money for the good packages, and they have really good auto routers. Now, do you just blindly use them? No. So a good layout guy will use them judiciously. Um, so in a good auto router, it's available anytime you want to. So you can just, uh, let's say, let me just do a, a little thing here. Let me just uh, get rid of all these routes here. So you can say, okay, here's a section here. Let, well, let, let's say the whole board is unrouted. Yeah, but you can see a little, just a little section here. Um, on a on a a good package, you should be able to draw a box here and select all of these traces or all of these uh, nets. Okay, you can see here here's all these nets. Auto route those, and it would just beep, it would just do those ten ten lines, and it would be done. Um, so you can set it up to do different things. So in the past, when I've actually used auto routing, so first of all, if it's an analog circuit, don't auto route it. Don't don't even bother. Um, if it's a digital circuit, then you can use it for a lot of things. So in the past, not so much anymore, but in the past, you might have maybe these six chips are, are, are RAM chips. They're all 8-bit RAM chips, and you need to wire them all together. And when you route them, it looks like a whole bunch of horizontal lines, and it's very, very simple. But it's very, very tedious. So you would just draw a box around that and say auto route, and then it would put in all of those traces, and it would do a really good job of it. And you'd have a really clean group of RAM chips. And then you might go over and look at, you know, maybe your I squared C section and say, here, just route that, right? And you just kind of go piecemeal through the board. Um, and then once you get everything, you know, you might hand route a lot of the stuff. You might auto route specific types of things. And then you might give it a try. Well, see what you can do with the rest of the board. And you could kind of take a look at it and see how it did. Rip up some places, try again. Or... You know, again, maybe move some parts around, try, have it try again. So you really can use auto routers efficiently. Um, this is not one of those. Uh, so anyway, it, it you know, for real simple boards and for people who don't have a lot of experience or uh, laying out boards and stuff, you know, it might be okay. But um, again, you know, digital only, simple boards only. And uh, make sure you go back and check it really, really careful. Like this one has just a whole bunch of grounds missing, and it's just it's just a mess. Uh, so yeah, there you go.